Hi, this is JR Smart. Every day, customers tell me what a truly exceptional experience it is buying from Smart Toyota with our friendly staff and all the little extras you won't find anywhere else. We also understand the importance of being involved in and giving back to our community. And of course, we have great deals too. Visit SmartToyota.com for our latest deals, including special APR and lease offers on our award-winning Toyota and Scion lineup. Smart Toyota, Odana Road, Madison. Welcome to the glossy pages of Madison Magazine Come to Life. Each month we'll take a look at the most enlightening, entertaining, and thought-provoking sides of Madison. I'm Dina Wright. You know, there's much more diversity today on the UW-Madison campus than when I attended the university some years ago. Whether you're sitting outside on the Memorial Union Terrace, enjoying a scoop of Babcock ice cream, studying at Helen C. White Library, or just walking up Bascom Hill, the landscape at UW-Madison is rocking many different hues these days. And that means the university must tackle the issue of diversity. I didn't know I was black until I got to college. And being from the south side of Chicago, you think, how does that work, right? UW-Madison theater professor Patrick Sims is helping to lead diversity efforts at the university to create a more welcoming and inclusive campus for its students of color. And while the efforts of Sims and others are aimed to benefit the more than 4,000 Asian, Latino, Black, Native American, and LGBTQ students, Sims says it's not just non-majority students he's after. I want to figure out how to reach the average white guy, right? And what I mean by that, not to be sexist, in the sense that Diversity, inclusivity is something that has value across the board. I mean, the business sector tells us this, the research tells us this, we see it in the results with our students and their success rates. Uh, the challenge is not everybody sees it that way. And it's not for lack of interest, it's just it's not part of their day-to-day -day experience or activities. So if I can reach the average white guy, I can find just about everybody else in between. As a first-generation college student, he certainly understands the complexity students face with the intersection of race, gender, class, culture, and sexual identity. He acknowledges, as interim vice provost for diversity and climate, the task of bringing about inclusiveness is not an easy one. We're going to ask the students to challenge us. What are the things that they want us to pay attention to as individuals who sit with the spheres of influence that we have on this campus? And the challenge we're going to give back to them is what are they going to do to help us achieve those goals. If the turnout at UW's annual Multicultural Orientation and Reception event last month is any indication, students of color welcome the university's efforts. But they also recognize that inclusivity may not be without its difficulties and challenges. I feel like students of color are here not just as students but as agents of change and coming here and there's so many white people <laughs> just, there's so many white folks like I can't put it any other way but it's different but it's a challenge every day it's a new challenge every day um, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's always bad we're gonna make mistakes along the way I mean I, I'm sure I'm gonna make mistakes in this role and having support and input from other individuals other players on campus to you know hey, Patrick, let me talk to you for a second. That, that's always a welcome addition because you can't do this work alone. Fortunately, Sims isn't facing these challenges alone. Ruby Paredes is no stranger to promoting diversity at the UW. In 1999, she helped create the groundbreaking People Program, which provides a pre-college experience for underrepresented prospective college students. Freda says although there are challenges with regard to the retention of students of color, she believes efforts by the university to attract those students are working. We have about 10%, a little over 10%. The incoming um, class, though, is more than, it's about 14% of the incoming class. Now, that's an improvement over the numbers that we've seen over the years. So those are small, you know, marks of progress, and we want to continue to make sure that they come in, they're retained, and especially graduated. So their success is very important. While school officials say incidents of overt racism or hate-based behaviors have decreased over the years, they are prepared to deal with them when they happen. And when those kinds of experiences happen and you're on the receiving end of that, where do you go? What do you do? So we have policies and procedures in place to address that very thing. We know we're not going to stop all of it. But if we can show some kind of human compassion and empathy, even at the highest echelons of a 40,000 plus size institution, 
with respect to its membership, um, that goes a long way. Many students of color at this year's MCOR say they appreciate the school's recognition of the need to create a learning environment that respects their differences and embraces all students. Um, my high school had was like 99% African American, um, so it's very new coming to a predominantly white institution. But like my friend said, there are a lot of institutions and just groups that allow us to be the best we can be with each other, as well as integrating ourselves in the Wisconsin community in general. Well-known Wisconsin Alumni Association President and CEO Paula Bonner says there's a plethora of individuals of color who have graduated from UW-Madison who are still embracing their love of all things Badger. She's one of the organizers of this year's first ever UW Multicultural Homecoming. One of the things that weekend is to connect the uh, multicultural alumni with uh, the diverse students that are here and do more to create some mentorships and opportunities for these current students, these little babies, <laughs> to, um, to meet and, and, and see, well, here's a CEO, here's a scientist at MIT, here's, here's the local, um, you know, doctor, and, and to have more opportunities to continue to see where their next steps and their path and their journey in life can go and to be a resource for the students. But it's Paredes and Sims charged with making sure that non-majority students have a successful UW career. They agree the issue is about far more than just numbers. That diversity is what makes it possible to be innovative and creative because people bring their ideas, they bring their perspectives and bring the, the richness of you know the differences that are brought together result in some of the most creative and innovative ideas. And while the university has provided Sims with many tools at his disposal, there's one he doesn't have. Let's say that you had a magic wand, right. or you had a nose that twitched like Bewitched. Mm -hmm. um, tell me in your words, you're as close to perfect campus uh, <laughs> in your mind's eye. What, how would you see I this? I need some time to think about that, <laughs> my magic wand. Wow. Um, I would say a campus where students of color don't have to defend who they are, don't have to explain who they are. Uh, when people are curious or interested in asking questions about one's identity or background, that there is a genuine spirit of appreciation, one that is valuing the difference and one that is embracing, to a certain extent, that which is unfamiliar. Now, how you make that happen, that's, that's the hard part. It's not an easy task, but faculty, staff, and students agree. Diversity efforts at UW-Madison are improving, and with every new semester, the campus is becoming more inclusive. If you'd like more information on the UW's multicultural homecoming, check out their website, uwalumni.com. Later, we'll talk Packers with a 20-year veteran and take a delicious tour. Coming up next, Zach Brandon and Shiva Vidar go head-to-head -head on some of Madison's hottest topics. Madison Magazine is brought to you by Smart Toyota and University of Wisconsin-Madison.